Okay, in this problem, we're asked to produce a compact region E in R2 such that the maximum value of V on E is 270. And for every X and Y not in E, uh, the volume is less than 270. And the reason why we have 270 is because in a previous problem, we had already found that the max value um, based off of just the general idea of our box was 270, and that occurred when our length and width were both equal to 6. And we're given our box here, length, width, and height, and our volume based off of, a, uh, based off of cost is determined as, in terms of L and W, as 5LW times the quantity 108 minus LW all over 4 times L plus W. And we want to produce a compact region such that we know that um, 270 is our maximum. And so that means that we have to have 6, 6 within our compact region um, because then the first part is satisfied. And then we also want to find a region so that for any x, um, y combination outside of our region, we know for sure that it's not going to be 270. So um, looking at our volume equation, the first thing that we might notice is that we have 108 minus L times W. So if we were to say that L was more than 108, then we, we look at our equation and see what, what happens when we assume that L is more than 108. So if L is more than 108, then in order to have a positive volume, that means that W is forced to be less than 1. Because if W was 1 or more, then 108 minus LW would be negative, and our volume would also be negative, since L and W are always going to be positive. So we want, so this implies that W is between 0 and 1. So we'll just take this as our first case. If we suppose these, we want to see what we can determine about the volume. So we'll start with Okay, so since W is fairly small, W plus L will be fairly close to just L. So we can go ahead and say that our volume will be less than, since we're decreasing the denominator, it'll be less than 5LW over 4L. So now we can cancel out our L terms. So we have 5 fourths times W times the quantity 108 minus LW. Okay, so now we can go ahead, let's factor out a 108 from this term and see what happens. So we, all we did was we took the 108 outside of the parentheses and divided LW by 108. So we have 540, or 5 fourths W times 108 times the quantity 1 minus LW over 108. And now we notice that, um, again, we have 1 minus LW over 108. 
So the absolute maximum, which it can't actually even obtain because um, neither L nor W can be equal to zero, but the absolute maximum of this term is going to be one. So we can say that our volume is going to be less than 5 fourths W times 108. And now we know, again, that W is between 0 and 1. So it can't actually obtain it. So it'll be less than 1 when W is equal to 1. So we have five fourths times 108, which is 135. So if we require that L be more than 108, then we know that that implies that W is between 0 and 1 and that our volume is going to be strictly less than 135. So and we know that we can obtain a volume of 270 at the point 66. So we already have that for any points outside of the interval or when L is more than 108 and W is between 0 and 1, our volume is less than our maximum volume. So we have half of our constraint. So now we'll, do, we'll look back at our volume equation. And instead of letting L be more than 108, we'll just let W be more than 108. And again, that's going to imply that L is going to be between 0 and 1. So I'll just loosely write it out because it's pretty much the exact same argument. So we have. L more than 108 implies W is between 0 and 1. And W more than 108 implies that L is between 0 and 1. Again, because we want this term 108 minus LW to be positive. So if we do that, we're going to try and reach the same conclusion that our volume is less than 135. So we have again the same uh, volume equation. So our volume is equal to this. And again, we're going to say that since L is small, our denominator is going to be um, it won't it won't have much of an effect if we were to just take away the L term and we're left with a denominator of just four W and we can cancel out our W's and we're left with five L times one oh eight minus LW over 4. Again, we'll change this back to an, we'll change this now to an L. So we have, we'll factor out the 108. We're left with this equation, 5 fourths L times 108 times the quantity 1 minus LW over 108. Change this to an L again. And again, 1 minus LW over 108 is bounded by 1. So we have 5 fourths L times 108, which L is now between 0 and 1. So it's less than 5 fourths times 108 when L is equal to 1, which is equal to 135. So we proved that um, when W is more than 108, 
then L is between 0 and 1, and our volume is less than 135. So our compact region is going to be Find as when L is between 1 and 108 inclusive and W is between 1 and 108 inclusive. Because we showed that if L is more than 108, then W is less than 1 and the volume is less than 135. And if L is less than, or if W is more than 108, then L is less than 1 and our volume is less than 135. So we produce a compact region where our volume will always be less than 135 if we're outside of it. And it obviously contains the point 6, 6, since 6 is between 1 and 108.